Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about riparian areas, what they are, and how you can properly get them set up. Well, many times farmers are accused of, well, they're not doing the right thing for the land. They're just in it for profit. And then you drive around the country a little bit and see what's really going on, especially around rivers and streams. Farmers are doing a lot of things to protect the soil and protect the water quality in the area. Hey, but let's say this though first. Farmers have to make money, otherwise they can't stay in business. But one of the key things is keeping nutrients and keeping soil in the field and not going down into the river. So farmers are working on this all the time. But one of the things that we do see a lot more people doing now is talking about these, what we call riparian areas. So rather than just a buffer between the river and the field, this riparian area is set up to help catch nutrients, help use nutrients, and help stop that soil from getting into the water. So we want to talk about the different levels of riparian areas and some of the different plants that a farmer may put in those. I thought you were going to say farmers are making a great spot for wildlife because that's a lot of times what happens in these riparian areas. You're right by water and not only are we putting grass in and perennial grasses with deep solid root systems to hold soil in place and then filter anything that may run down the hill or run across a field, that grass is going to filter filter much of that out. But now we're also talking about some small trees, we're talking about some bushes, those kind of plants to try and get in that strip as well, which provide cover for the wildlife as well, which is a nice side benefit, but also stop things from blowing into the stream or moving into the stream with big storms. What many farmers will do is work with their local NRCS in setting up these riparian areas. And just like Darren said, yes, we're going to have grass there, but also when you have bushes, you have small trees, and maybe you have large trees. I mean, it's kind of like the, the same theory of setting up a shelter belt. We want to try to catch some of the stuff and then as we get a little bit closer we definitely want to stop any soil, stop any nutrients from going into the river. So we are seeing a lot more riparian areas that are set up around the country and ideally what we'd like to see is these set up on each side of the river just to help prevent any problems, any issues from happening. But just understand, okay, if you're not a farmer and you start thinking, oh farmers are polluting the rivers and I hear about all this uh, mud in the river and everything else, it must be coming from feed. Look, rivers don't have cement banks, they don't have cement floors, and until they do, we're constantly going to have rivers that are eating out the sides of these banks, and they're literally robbing soil from farmers because they'll keep eating the sides of the banks. That's just the way rivers go. So I'm just trying to say all this in that you understand that, hey, we're always going to have dirt in the river. And until we as a country decide, well, we're going to spend $100 trillion on cementing every one of our rivers out, it's always going to be the case. There's nothing we can do about that. But what we can do is set up these riparian areas to keep our farm fields from polluting the river. Well, even if we did do concrete in the river banks, Brian, it, we're still going to have dirt because what happens is we're going to get a big rain. And that's really when we're looking at these riparian areas, hey, if we just got a half inch of rain once a week, no big deal. The soil is going to soak it in, the crop's going to use it up, we're going to be just fine. The problem is we don't just get a half inch, we may get a five inch rain that comes in an hour. Well, no system out there is set up to handle that. So all of a sudden we've got more water than can soak into the ground, so it's going to run off over the top. And the river is going to go up and the river is going to go down. And these are the reasons that we're seeing some of this river chewing into the sides of the bank and those kind of things. So we've got to do everything we can to try and hold that water back, hold anything that may wash out of the field, whether that's crop residue on top of the ground or whether it's soil or whatever's in the soil and protect things. And that's why riparian areas are so important. And many areas around the country, you can get some governmental help to put the right series of plants out there, the right distance away from the river and all of those kind of things. So you have some good guidance from somebody that has a lot of experience with this. Using riparian areas is definitely something that you want to consider for your farm, but so is great weed control. We'll talk about controlling this week's weed coming up later in the show.